Hey, hey, what's up? So now I'm in Key Largo and uh, yeah, get around. And to let you know, um, VA travels, I visit historical sites in Virginia, but every once in a while uh, I'll break loose and uh, visit a site uh, outside of the state. And so yeah, I'm down here, I'm actually down here on a dive trip and uh, it was supposed to be five days of diving. We got two days in and then they've canceled the last three days. And uh, yeah, it's really nice right now, but uh, supposedly uh, winds and stormy weather are, are headed in. And um, yeah, so they canceled the rest of the trip. Uh, luckily I was refunded a portion, so that's cool. And I uh, actually got a little excited. Uh, it gave me an opportunity to find a historical site to visit. Um, not, not much luck in Key Largo. Uh, pretty much all there is to do in Key Largo is fish and scuba dive. No beaches, but I did stumble across this thing, the African Queen. It's the original boat that was used in the movie, African Queen, uh, starring Humphrey Bogart, Catherine Hepburn. And uh, yeah, they, they offer tours uh, to let you know they're $59. And they're booked up today, so I'm going to try to hop on one for tomorrow, uh, weather bearing. And uh, yeah, so the closest thing I could find to a historical site. It seemed pretty cool just to be uh, jumping on an old rickety steamboat uh, going down this uh, Largo Canal. And uh, to give you some background, this thing was built 1912, and it was actually used in the Congo up until 1968. It was put out of commission, and then uh, eventually discovered in Cairo, Egypt in, in the 70s, and uh, it was brought over here to the States. And then uh, restore, restoration was completed 2012 uh, on the 100 year anniversary. And uh, so yeah, now they've got it out here uh, giving tours. And to let you know, there's a second African Queen that was built in 1950. It was built uh, just for the movie. And uh, that one gives tours actually in Uganda. So it's still in use out there, which is kind of cool. So anyway, so hopefully things work out tomorrow. See ya. Came down early to take a look at this thing. The African Queen. Humphrey Bogart and Catherine Hepburn's original movie boat, African Queen. The Adventurous Queen has been around the world twice. And they've got an outboard motor on the back. And I think this steam engine is pretty much just a, a prop now. They, they do fire it up during the tour. And there's the tiller that Catherine Hepburn was uh, using throughout the movie. And it looks like they've got a uh, gin bottle uh, prop from the movie back there. Thing is definitely rickety looking. Pretty cool. We've got the Union Jack flying up there. And must have used a different uh, movie towards the, uh, I'm sorry, a different boat towards the end because uh, I know they had cut out holes in the front. That's where you stuck the torpedoes. And uh, there's the box where Humphrey Bogart was uh, storing his whiskey. Rosie Sayre, Catherine Hepburn's character, and she was nominated uh, for an Oscar. Let's see, and director John Houston, they had her base her character on Eleanor Roosevelt from when she had visited the hospitals uh, of the wounded soldiers. And then Charlie Walnut, of course, played by Humphrey Bogart. And uh, he won an Oscar for his performance, and he famously beat out Marlon Brando. Uh, for, for a streetcar named Desire, and um, supposedly there was a controversy about that at, at the time. Oh, and a uh, famous story: um, Catherine Hepburn got dysentery during the filming. Um, well, most of the crew uh, actually got dysentery, and pretty much the only two people not to get sick were Humphrey Bogart and John Huston. In the joke goes, is because they drank the entire time; they didn't drink the local water. And Bogart explained, all I ate was baked beans, canned asparagus, uh, and scotch whiskey. Whenever a fly bit Houston or me, it dropped dead. <laughs> oh yeah, and I watched about half the movie again last night. And uh, so I can give you a synopsis. And uh, I guess it would be a spoiler alert, but I guess you've had 70 years to watch the movie. So uh, it takes place in the Belgian Congo during World War I. Uh, at the time, it was, uh, it was occupied by Germany, and Catherine Hepburn's brother, or her character's brother, uh, ran a missionary, British missionary, and uh, uh, once the war broke out, German troops burned down his missionary. He, uh, he became uh, depressed, heartbroken afterward, uh, died of yellow fever, 
And so when Catherine Hepburn was leaving via steamboat, um, ran by Humphrey Bogart, and, uh, and he was kind of a, a down and out alcoholic, rough around the edges character. Uh, so on the way out, he uh, explained to her the war had broken out and there was nothing the British could do because there was a German warship way down river on Lake Albert, I believe it was. And then uh, she got the idea to uh, torpedo the warship uh, because he had some air canisters and some explosive jelly on board. And uh, so anyway, they go down river, they get into all these adventures, they go through rapids, waterfalls, uh, they're attacked at one point. So long story short, yeah, they blow up the uh, German ship and uh, surprise, they fall in love during the way. So anyway, it's a pretty good movie. Uh, it's definitely dated. Uh, it's got that, uh, that old Hollywood overacting uh, where they're kind of performing, I guess, while they're acting. But um, yeah, I would definitely check it out. So anyway, I'm gonna go eat some breakfast and uh, hopefully the tour's still on. Okay, taking off, and uh, yeah, we just got a little briefing on, on the history of the movie, and sounds like it was uh, just pretty much a pretty big party over there in Africa, and every once in a while they would stop and film some scenes, some scenes, and uh, Humphrey Bogart and director John Huston, of course, uh, famous drinkers, and uh, Ernest Hemingway was actually there on location, uh, so was uh, Humphrey Bogart's wife, Laura McCall, and she, she wasn't drinking, so... <clears throat> the steam would come down through here. This is like a throttle. We'd open this, introduce that steam in here, get the water out because you can't compress that. And uh, once these are running clean with the steam, then we give her a turn and uh, uh, release valve that we had to blow up. We had to that. We fix the boiler. All the problems we saw from that book. Documented. Okay, fun times and yeah, fun trip. It was about an hour, 15 minutes and just pretty much went up and down all the uh, canals in the harbor. So, and it was pretty cool once he uh, fired up that steam engine. And yeah, I learned a lot about the movie and yeah, glad we got to uh, make a video while I was down here. So anyway, see you in Virginia. And taking a look at some of the memorabilia they have here in the, in the hotel. And Casablanca, of course, Humphrey Bogart's most famous movie. And come to think of it, he's filmed a lot of movies on location. Casablanca taking place in Morocco. The African Queen uh, filmed in the Congo. And there's this connection to Key Largo. And this is one of those uh, old uh, detective, one of those film noir uh, crime dramas. And uh, also filmed by John Huston, same director that filmed The African Queen. And I see it also stars Lauren Bacall, his wife. Um, stars uh, Lionel Barrymore, a great uncle to Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Famous acting family, the Barrymores. And then, looks like this is a French poster, I guess. Uh, 
uh, Maltese Falcon, another famous one. Uh, again, filmed by, uh, directed by John Huston. This was actually his first movie. And a, another one of those film noir crime dramas. And he plays the famous Sam Spade detective. Making of the African Queen, a book uh, written by Catherine Hepburn about the uh, the making of the movie. Oh yeah, there it is, the book. And you can buy the DVD. <laughs> wood-burning steam boiler, one of the many boilers used to power the African Queen.